Now, in this section, we'll find domain of two special functions. The first one is f of x equals square root of 30 over x squared minus 36. 30 over x squared minus 36 needs to be greater or equal to 0. So the numerator is a constant. We do not need anything on that. The denominator is x squared minus 36. Let me solve this first. So we get x squared equals 36, then x will be plus or minus square root of 36, which is plus or minus 6. Now, we go for the line test. You need to put these values here, negative 6, positive 6. And take some test points. So I'm taking test point here is 0, and this side is 7, this side is negative 7. We need to test the sign of 30 over x square minus 36. So we'll do this one in the calculator. Now we check at 0. So we get negative. And then finally, when we check for 7, that gives me positive also. So we have our domain from 6 to infinity and then negative infinity to negative 6. But these numbers are coming from the denominator, so we'll be using parenthesis, not the bracket. So our domain is negative infinity to negative 6 and then 6 to infinity. Let us look at the main graph. So if you type your graph like 30 over th x squared minus 36, exponent is 1 half, then the graph will look like this. So you can see here is negative 6, and you have the graph on this side, and starting from here, 6 goes all the way to the positive side. So this is the domain. We'll take another example. We'll take second example, slightly different. Now we have a square root of 3x over x squared minus 36. 3x over x squared minus 36 should be greater or equal to 0. To solve this nonlinear inequality, we have to do it in a different way, like first you solve the numerator, you get x equals 0, and then x squared minus 36 equals 0, so you get x equals plus or minus 6. Again, we go to the real line test, 0 here, negative 6, positive 6. So we are taking test points negative 7 on this side. Between negative 6 and 0, we take a test point negative 1. Between 0 to 6, we take a test point positive 1. And after 6, we take 7. We check the sign of 3x over x squared minus 36 at the test points. So we have typed here 3x over x squared minus 36. Now trace it, add negative 7 so that gives me negative answer then at negative 1 we have positive answer so then we plus and then test point 1 gives us again negative and test point 7 gives us positive answer. We have 3x over x squared minus 36 should be greater or equal to 0. And we have found that the portion positive here I have between negative 6 and 0. And the positive I have between 6 and infinity. This negative 6 is coming from denominator. This is from denominator. And this 0 is coming from numerator. So we write our domain as negative 6 to 0, 0 has closed, negative 6 open, and then 6 to infinity, both open, and we connect with union symbol. And this is the domain of this function, and we are done.